All right, now in this video, I'm going to show you some amazing features which Google's Pixel phone offers and Samsung should consider implementing these features into its One UI. Of course, Samsung's One UI skin on top of Android is incredible. It is feature rich, but there are some cool features which Pixel phone offers and we don't find them on One UI. Let's find out. This is the Pixel 6a which I have here running on Android 13. I will just open the notification panel here. I will press and hold on auto rotate toggle. This is a feature which is available on almost all Android phones, including Samsung phones. Of course, it's a core feature of Android. Now, when I toggle this on on the Pixel phone, we also get an option called face detection. This feature uses the front facing camera to improve the auto rotate accuracy. Let me just break it down for you. When we rotate the phone, the screen auto rotates when the auto rotate toggle is turned on. But let's say when you are lying down on a couch or on the bed, and you're holding the phone upright in front of your face, the screen does not rotate the contents. I'm sure most of you using Samsung Galaxy phones or any other Android phones would have noticed this. If you turn on the auto rotate screen option, whenever you lie down on the bed, you will see the phone screen rotate and that will be really annoying because the contents will rotate. We will have to toggle off the auto rotate function. But on Pixel phones, we have got this freaking awesome feature called face detection for auto rotate screen, which will detect your face and does not activate the auto rotation feature when it recognizes you lying down on the bed or on the couch which is amazing let me show you the next feature let's go to settings i'll tap on system and here we have got gestures now the gestures are available on galaxy phones as well but here is one cool feature on the top you see quick tap to start actions is not available on galaxy phones and maybe some other android phones as well now let me just tap on this what this does is it will start the action which you have set whenever you double tap on the back of the phone. Let's say you want to take a screenshot, just double tap on the back of the phone, it takes the screenshot. You want to play or pause media, you can do that by just double tapping on the back. You want to see recent app, show notifications, access your digital assistant, open a particular application, you can do all of that. And with Android 13, Google added another option called toggle flashlight. Whenever you tap on the back of the phone, when the toggle flashlight is selected under the settings, it will turn on the flashlight, which will be really handy in many situations. At last, we also have an option to open a specific application. You can set that particular app, which you want to open when you double tap on the back. Just tap on this icon and select the app you want. This is just fantastic. And Samsung should consider trying this feature on its One UI or probably implement it in a different way. Okay, now let's say I have got any application open here. Let's say Gmail, I have an email open here. Now, when I go to the recents, you will see some cool options here at the bottom. We have an option to take a screenshot. At the same time, on the right-hand side, we have got an option called select. Let me just tap on this. As you can see, it selects all the contents on that particular application or that particular screen. It recognizes the images, recognizes the text, and it selects everything. And we can just tap on whatever content we want to copy. We can tap on that, we can share it, we can search it on Google. This is a feature which comes in handy more often. Samsung did implement this text recognition feature on Android 13, One UI 5.0. It does recognize the text on a particular image inside the gallery, but this feature here on Pixel phone is just so good. Just go to the recents and tap on select to select and copy all the text that you have. Next one is clipboard editing feature. This feature landed on Pixel phones with this all new Android 13, but for some reason, Samsung did not implement this feature. We do have clipboard feature on Samsung, but not the way Google has implemented on its Pixel phones. Let me show you that. Let's open Google Chrome. I will select the text over here and I'll tap on copy. As you can see, at the bottom left corner, we have got this clipboard option. We have got an option to share that copied content and we can also tap on this particular window which shows all the content that you just copied. We can edit it and then share it with others. Just tap on done and it remains in the clipboard. Now let's say if you copy a particular image, again the image is in the clipboard, I'll just tap on this. As you can see, we can edit this image, we can crop it, we can add text and we can add colors and then we can share this copied image to others or you can just save it in the clipboard. This is again an amazing feature which is on Android 13 on the Pixel phones and I think Samsung should implement this feature as well. It's a very handy feature we have on Pixel phones. 
Let's move to the next one. This is the one-handed mode feature on Android 13 on the Pixel phones. On the Samsung Galaxy phones, the one-handed mode looks something like this. When we swipe at the bottom, the screen will shrink either to the left or to the right, depending on your preferences. You can just tap on this arrow to bring it to the right or bring it to the left. Whereas on the Pixel phones, when we swipe at the bottom edge, you can see this is how the one-handed mode looks like. The contents don't really shrink, only the screen becomes smaller. The visibility is not an issue with this one-handed mode. Whereas on the Galaxy phones, you can see the text look really tiny. Though we have the entire screen available, it may be hard to read for a lot of people out there if the texts are too small. Even the images look really tiny. This is the Samsung's implementation. You let me know whether Samsung should consider changing this to the Pixel style, whether it'll be useful or not. Do drop a comment. All right, now when it comes to the wallpapers, on the Pixel phones, we have got some cool default live wallpapers which can be set on the home screen. Let me show you that. I'll just press on the home screen here. I'll tap on wallpapers and style. I'll tap on change wallpaper. Now you can see we have got something called living universe. These are some amazing looking live wallpapers which Google offers on its Pixel phones. Whenever you unlock the phone, this live wallpaper appears in some cool transitions and it is really pleasing to the eye. This is something which Galaxy phones don't have. We do get some live wallpaper or video wallpaper for the lock screen, but for the home screen, we don't get this default option. I think Samsung should consider adding this feature. Okay, now let me show you the next feature. Let me tap on settings. Let's tap on safety and emergency. Here you can see we have got something called car crash detection. This is a very important feature which is available on the Pixel phones. This feature on the phone can detect the accident and you can select the contacts to whom the SOS message needs to be sent if at all there is an accident. I really hope this feature should not come into use but yeah this is a great safety feature which Google has implemented on the phone. I think this is something which Samsung needs to consider adding onto the One UI. The next one is a very cool feature which we all love. It's called Now Playing. Whenever the phone hears music, it displays that particular song on the lock screen. It will recognize that music and show you the title of it. That's an amazing feature which Samsung also should consider adding. I know it's a Google specific feature, but maybe Samsung can try this with Bixby or maybe they can implement the same feature on the One UI. Let me know what do you think about it. All right, now the last one is not a feature that I wanna talk about. This is about the animations on the Pixel phones. I just love the animations which is on the Android 13 on Pixel phones. Samsung's animations are also pretty cool. It's snappy, it's smooth. However, the animations on Android 13 on the Pixel phones can make the 60 Hertz screen look like 120 Hertz. It's really smooth. It's comparable to iPhone's animations. But yeah, I do agree that this is subjective not everybody would like Pixels animations or iPhones animations or for that matter the One UI animations on Samsung phones. I personally like the animations on Pixel phones. You let me know which one do you like. Should Samsung consider adding such animations on the One UI? Do drop a comment. These are some of the incredible features which are on Pixel phones and not really available on the One UI on Samsung Galaxy phones. Let me know which feature you like the most and which one do you think Samsung should implement on its Galaxy phone? Do drop a comment. That's that's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.